So today we're going to take a look at finding equivalent rates and then also how can we use rates to find a better buy. So you're given some information about this sodium in pretzel rods. You're given that there's 450 milligrams of sodium in three pretzel rods. So to find the amount of milligrams of sodium in two and five pretzel rods, we first need to find the unit rate. So we set up our unit rate as a ratio. 450 milligrams over three pretzels because I need to find out how many milligrams are in one pretzel. Make sure you're putting your labels on your rates. So then I can tell that if I'm going from three to one, I am dividing by three. To keep them equivalent, if I'm dividing the denominator by three, I also have to divide the numerator by three as well. 450 divided by 3 is 150. So the unit rate is there's 150 milligrams in one pretzel. So now to find the amount of milligrams in two pretzels, I'm going to take the unit rate, 150 milligrams in one pretzel, and I'll make the equivalent rate for two pretzels. So to get from 1 to 2, I'm multiplying by 2, so I also have to multiply the numerator by 2. 150 times 2 is 300. So there are 300 milligrams of sodium in two pretzels. To find the amount of sodium in five pretzel rods, I once again am going to use the unit rate. So that's 150 milligrams in one pretzel, and I want to find out how many in five pretzels. So I'm going to take one times five, which is five. I also have to multiply the numerator by five. 150 times five is 750. So there's 750 milligrams in five pretzels, and again, when you're doing unit rates and unit rates, you must include the unit. Next, we're going to find unit rates to find the better buy. A better buy is the cheaper amount for one unit, whatever unit that is. And in this example, it is ounces. So if I'm paying $4.89 for 17 ounces, I want to find out how much I'm paying for one ounce. So you are going to need your calculator for this. I'm going to divide 17 by 17 because I need to get to 1. So I'm also going to divide the numerator by 17. So I'm going to take 4.89 and divide it by 17. When you do that, you're going to see that you do not have a decimal that terminates. It looks something like this. And it keeps going. But since we're working with money, we're going to round to the nearest hundreds. That's the second place value to the right of the decimal point. So to round here, I have to look at the thousands. That is a seven. Seven is higher than five, so I need to round the eight up to a nine. So an estimate would be about 29 cents for one ounce. Now I have to do the same thing for the 21 ounce box. If I pay $5.69 for 21 ounces, and OZ is the abbreviation for ounces, I want to find the cost for one ounce. 21 divided by 21 will get me one, so I have to divide the numerator by the same value to keep them equivalent. So in my calculator, I'm going to take 5.69 divided by 21, and again, you are going to have a decimal that does not terminate. This actually keeps going, but we don't need to list all the digits. So once again, I have to round to the nearest hundredths. Seven is in my hundredth spot, so I have to look at the zero. Zero is less than five, so the seven will stay the same. So for this one, it's going to be 27 cents for one ounce. 27 cents per one ounce is cheaper than 29 cents per one ounce. So that means that my 21 ounce box is my better buy. Okay, in other words, I'm getting more for the cost that I'm paying of Cheerios. 
My next few examples, I'm going to look at gas and the price of gas that I'm paying for gallon. So at the Shell gas station, I'm going to pay $70 for 21 gallons. So again, the dollar amount is always going to go on the numerator, and then my unit of measurement here is gallon, that will be on the denominator. I need to find the cost for one gallon. So I'm going to divide by the denominator, which is 21, and then I also have to divide 70 by 21. So 70 divided by 21 gives me 3.333, and that 3 keeps repeating. But if I'm rounding that to the nearest cent, which is the hundredths column, I would be paying $3.33 approximately for one gallon of gas. So that's my unit rate for the Shell gas station. At the Walla gas station, I am paying $50, switch sides here, $50 for 15 gallons of gas. So you have to set up your rate as a ratio, exactly as I've shown. I need to find the cost of one gallon so I can compare. 15 divided by 15 will give me one. So I also have to divide the numerator by 15 as well. So on your calculator, you're going to take 50 divided by 15, which gives me 3.333. And this also keeps going. So when I round to the nearest cent here, which is the hundredths, I also pay $3.33 for one gallon at the Wawa gas station. So in this example, you're not saving any money if you go to the Shell gas station and buy your gas or the Wawa gas station because you're paying the same amount for one gallon of gas.